Welcome to our first Facebook Friday. We're going to be doing um, an interview with a student athlete or a coach from different teams coming up in the coming weeks. So check in at Indiana State Sycamores and uh, we'll have a different interview every week. Starting off with, I've got uh, Jake Odom here, fresh off a victory at Drake last night. And um, Jake joins us and he just became the number three all-time steals person from Indiana State. And uh, so out of every basketball the player we've ever had in Indiana State, he ranks number three in steals, and he's been top ten Indiana State in assists the past two seasons, and he's on pace to uh, crack into that for a third time. So, um, Jake here, we, uh, we've asked our fans um, what some of their favorite questions they wanted to ask Jake Odom, and uh, so they have a chance to ask you anything they wanted to do, and the first question that came in was from our friend Matthew's son, and he just simply asked, what do you prefer, Miracle Whip or Real Mayo? Uh... <laughs> That's an interesting question. Um, actually, I'm not a big fan of either of them. Um, I'm not a fan of white sauces in general. Uh, I'm not a big ranch guy. Um, but if, if I had to pick, I'd probably go with Miracle Whip. I'm, I'm not too big on, on the mayo at all. Okay. Do you use any other condiments? Ketchup, mustard? Yeah, I'm a big ketchup and barbecue guy. There you go. Big ketchup and barbecue guy. Sounds good. Um, the second question that came in to us was from uh, Trent Roberts, and he wanted to know, do you think Andrew's, Andrew Luck stole your beard style, and where did he get that from? <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's really even a style at all. I think it's just laziness of, of, of upkeep, um, but, I, but I do like his beard. It's nice, and uh, he's representing Indiana well uh, in, in the playoffs with the Colts. Um, we root for him, and um, so, so I, don't, I don't know if, I really, if he really stole my style or I stole his, but... Um, it's really the scruffiness and the, uh, the the early 20 style, I guess. Are you going to change that up as we go along, or are you going to... Uh, yeah, I do need to clean it up a little bit. Coach gets on me all the time, but uh, yeah, it might be cleaned up by this weekend. Okay, what do you think? you going to keep something there, line it up, or take it all oh, away? No, there'll be something there. There's always something there. Uh, I'm, I'm not too big on, on shaving on a regular basis, so uh, there'll always be something there until I get out in the professional world. Sounds good. I think that's one of our fan favorites is the uh, Jake Odom beard. So uh, Matt Bowles followed up, and he wants to know, what are your personal goals for this season? It's your senior year. Uh, you've represented Indiana State for four years now, and you're on pace to have your best season yet. So what are your personal goals this year? Uh, personally, uh, I'm a team guy. Obviously, uh, my success comes from the team winning. Um, so we're focusing on just winning every game. We're not looking too far ahead in the season. Um, we want to focus on this next one at Bradley. They got a good player with uh, Walt Lemon. Uh, we need all the students to be there. I believe it's a whiteout. But uh, uh, as for personal goals, I just I just want to win every game and, and do what I can to uh, to help our team succeed. Okay. So that's this Saturday. We're having a whiteout for the basketball team. So students come out. We are taking wear anything white. Wear Sycamore white gear and uh, fill up that student section. Okay, the next question that came in, what are some tips you would give a youth basketball coach to teach Jake Odom court vision, and what are two things that helped you become an elite point guard? So, we all seen Jake Odom out there, he's looking over here with the balls going over there, he can see things even when he's not looking at it. How would you um, teach that to somebody? Um, well, as far as, as teaching to youth, um, growing up I, I had a, a really good coach at Bobby Moore at the Terrell Boys Club. And um, he really just taught sharing the ball, and, and that kind of just evolves as, as you grow older and, and develop your style of play. Um, you just got to understand where people are on the floor, um, understand reading the defenses. But at the youth level, they just need to understand that, that they don't have to do everything. They, you got to share the ball. You got to get your teammates involved. Mm -hmm. And if you want to win games, that, that's what you got to do. Um, I don't know if there's anything in particular that I really necessarily worked on growing up other than just you know, want my teammates to be better and by me passing the ball and getting the ball in the position uh, for them to do, uh, to score or do well, um, just, it's just something that I, I like to do and it felt good doing that. Great. So when you're out on the court, what's your favorite part of the game? Do you like dropping a dime, getting an assist? Do you like picking someone's pocket and taking down for a layup? Do you like the open three? What do you enjoy? Oh, I, I enjoy throwing it up to the rim and letting, letting one of our guys go get it and, and take it home. Um, Christian Smith, Dewan Cummings, um, Manny a -Rop. Uh, we, we've had a few of them this year, and um, that's my favorite thing, just throwing it up there and just watching one of those athletes go up there and just, just slam it home, and uh, it's entertaining. It, I used to do that back in uh, my high school days with my brother, and we transformed it here at Indiana State with Dwayne Latham and some of those guys I mentioned, and uh, 
it, it, it's fun doing that. It gets the crowd going, and it, it just, it's just a really good play overall. So we know you're most happy when you get a lob one up and see them flush it home. That's what, oh, that's yeah. what makes you excited. I'm cool. still waiting on somebody to throw one up to me, though. <laughs> Hoping to get that? Well, maybe we'll get that coming soon. Is there a player on the team that just reads you well? They know to be looking for the ball when you least expect it. Or someone that just understands the Jake Odom board vision and stands out to you, or is it just kind of the overall? Uh, I think it's really just kind of the overall overall setup. Because um, as far as throwing the ball in the rim, Christian and Manny and Dewan I'm on the same page with. But then yeah. it's the same thing as you know with Lucas Idol out on the wing, and when I'm driving, he's he's spacing away to get to that open spot on the floor to knock down a shot. So I think um, just playing playing in the summer, playing open gym, playing pickup ball with these guys, they, they, they learn to, to read and react to kind of how I play, and, uh, and, it, and it makes it a lot easier for me when I can just kick the ball off to the wing and somebody just knocks down a three, and uh, it makes a big play. Cool. Yeah, if they're not looking closely, they're going to take one to the face, because Jake will be looking over here, and the ball's coming at you. Um, the final question we received um, was from Don Mitchell, and uh, Don says, your grandma seems to be one of your biggest fans. She attends games as far away as Hawaii. She faced the snow and went up to Drake this week. Um, so she's one of your biggest fans. What advice does she give you after games, or what's her role in your life and your basketball career? <laughs> oh, my grandma. I love her to death. She, she's one of the greatest people I've ever been around in my whole life. Um, she's actually made it to every game this year so far. She's going to make it to all of them. They drove out to Drake uh, last night, or on Wednesday night, and... Um, it was a seven-hour drive. I got back about midnight, and, and uh, her and my dad still had five hours to go. So uh, I appreciate the support from them. Um, after the game, she uh, she's critical at times. She can be. Uh, she's she's one of the only people that that will tell you straight straight to your face what you need to do. Um, mm -hmm. She's most critical about my free throws, though. Uh, she can't stand when I miss a free throw. Mm -hmm. Grandma, I'm working on that for you. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, just overall, she, she, she understands the game uh, pretty well, and, and she, she has some good points to, to let me know, and, and believe me, when I have a bad game, she, she lets me know it, but, but also, she, she, uh, she, uh, she lets me know when I have a good game, and uh, she knows that, or I know that she loves me and everything like that, so uh, she's my number one fan, and I, I really appreciate that. She definitely is. Well, um, little trivia for you. I grew my beard out so I could look like Jake Odom a little bit. I needed some more time. Um, it was years and years ago. You were a sophomore or junior in high school. And Jake may not know this, but uh, I was a substitute teacher yeah. in your PE class and took you down in a game of pig. Um, <laughs> that's what I claim to fame. Whether it happened or not, we'll leave that to the judges to decide. But took, uh, played you in a game of pig. Right now, man for man, who would win a game of pig? Me or you? Oh, uh, I don't know. We can go to the gym right now and, and work it out and see what we can do. But uh, we'll see. I might take you up on that. So <laughs> tell the guys or tell the fans what's coming up this weekend and uh, what you'd like to see out of the game of Bradley. Yeah, we have a game of Bradley this weekend, and um, I would really appreciate and the team. Would really appreciate if um, all our students would come there, wear white, be supportive, along with the community. Um, we started off to a good, good uh, start to the conference season at three and zero. And uh, with your support, uh, we can move this to four and out and keep things rolling and uh, and continue our successful season. Thank you for tuning in. Our first Facebook Friday here at Indiana State Sycamores. Look for more student athletes and coaches coming in the next few weeks. Okay.